hören uns auf einem 150 Meter Band. Zu Ihrem Vergnügen spielen wir eine Selektion moderner musikalischer Rhythmen. How's it going? This is Saul Lopez. I'm back again in the lab making another piece. The name of this painting is called Scream in Silence. The reason why I created this is feeling isolated, alone, and stress just continuing to mount over and over and over, just like these layers that are being poured onto the canvas. It's just one emotion after the next. There's no consistency. It's just constantly washing over and this feeling of just being completely alone in my thoughts and in my mind the frustration the anger the desperation and just the overall ugly feeling that i can't escape from and it just for me it's like sometimes i get angry and i want the rage to come out but i don't want anything bad to come of it so when you sit there in this dark, bottomless pit, hole, black hole, that is depression, and you just sit there and you scream in your own head, people come up to you and tell you, how are you doing? And you reply with, I'm okay. But in reality, everything in my mind it's just driving me to the point of insanity. And I feel like I was at a breaking point when I was losing everything in my mind. It's like the mask that we put on to cover the real feelings on the inside underneath the surface. Because in reality, other people don't want to deal with your problems. Your pain, your suffering makes other people uncomfortable. And it makes it really hard to talk about because people fear what they don't understand. And so the frustration of wanting to talk to somebody about your problems and things that are going on in your life, but at the same time, the repercussions of telling somebody the things that are going on with you make them look at you differently. So it causes, like the name of the painting for me, to scream in silence. 
and the little lines that I do in this painting are the sound waves echoing, traveling, and like the negative thoughts that are constantly echoing in my head. That's the reason why I created this painting. It didn't turn out exactly the way I wanted it to be, but in the end, it made sense to me, and that's all that matters. And if anyone can relate to this, I understand your pain. And I made this not only for me, but for you. So continue to like and subscribe. I love you, Ryan and Sean. Thank you.